What's up, everybody? It's Soren Baker here on Unique Access Entertainment. We have the pleasure again of being joined by Sweet D. Thank you hey. again. <laughs> and we are here at Salt and Pepper's Star at the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, Sweet yes. D, what made you want to come out for this? Well, you know, I got the phone call that it was happening, and so it was like, just come out, and I was honored to be here, so I just jumped on a flight. I mean, this was, this was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, it's an incredible ceremony. And yes. what's the significance for you, seeing them rise throughout your whole, whole career, their whole career, to see this day right now? Well, you saw it coming, you know? You saw it, you saw it coming back then. Like, I mean, they did their thing, and they really, really deserve this. So um, and, I'm, I'm excited. And how would you say that salt and pepper changed the way hip hop is today? Well, they helped develop it. So it's not really about a change. What people are doing now, they're making alterations and changes, but they laid foundation. We all work and laid foundation for what it is right now. Right. And the importance of having the, the female DJ, the tag team rapping, all the different things that they brought to the table in, in obviously the male dominated society that continues to today. Um, what about the strength of being, pr being proud and excited to be women? It is what it is. Right. It is what it is. Okay. We did, we, they did their thing. Yes. They did their thing. 20 minutes away. <laughs> okay. And then uh, the other thing is the sustained success. Because mm -hmm. that's hard to, to achieve. How do you think Salt and Pepper were able to succeed such longevity? You can't do that without your fans. So you work, you have fans that like love you and work with you and come to your shows and support you. And none of this can really happen without the fans. So they're a very important part of it. There it is. Well, Sweet Tea, thanks again. Yes. Always All a right. pleasure. All right. I want you to listen real close to me. I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions. And I want some real simple answers. Do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, I, I understand. You said that you couldn't have possibly been at the crime scene at 11.15 because you went to the bookstore buying my audio book and my hardcover book at 11.15 when the crime scene occurred in Soren's book. The history of gangster rap. So you couldn't have been at the crime scene because you were buying the books. Right, right. At 11.15, I was, I was at the bookstore at, at 11.15 and when, when I, bought, I bought the books and accidentally left them at the store. So at 11.15, you couldn't have been at the crime scene because you were buying books, right? At 11.15, I was, we, we was, when I was leaving, it was, it was some people coming in, and I, I, I forgot to grab But you, you, you don't remember who what they looked people, like. What would they look like or nothing, right? No. Hmm. So. Twelve fifteen. You went to bookstore buying my audio book and hardcover book and Soren's book at twelve fifteen. So you couldn't have been at the scene because you were buying the books, right? Yeah, at twelve exactly at twelve at twelve fifteen exactly. I was at the bookstore. <laughs> You know you know fucked up. Which which one? First you said you were at the bookstore at eleven fifteen, and then you said you were twelve fifteen. You know you know fucked up. He fucked up. Yeah, he fucked up. He fucked up. Man, you you confusing me, man. So you get my book. 
my audio book, 40 years, and Soren's book, History of Gangster Rap, and if you don't, you know you done fucked up, right? Man, the more those cops ask me questions, the more I wish I bought them motherfucking books.